In this video, we will learn how can we create multiple child route modules in this application. In our previous video, we have added separate routing module file in the application and we have written all the routes in that file. Let's assume that we have huge application that is having multiple modules and lots of components. In that scenario, maintaining all the routes in one single file is not recommended and it is not a best practice because if you write lots of routes in the one single file, then maintaining that file is not an easy task because it is a huge file. First, we will understand the problem with one single file and let's maintain all of them in multiple files. Here. We are using the same application that we have created in this video series. Um, see here, inside this app routing module, we have defined all the ports. As of now, we are using this auth module. So we have defined only two ports here. Let's assume that we are having 20 to 25 modules in this application and we are defining all the ports in this file. So maintaining this file will not be an easy task. It will create some problem in the future. Let's see how to split this particular file and uh, create separate child route file in this application. Here, I do not want to use these codes here. I want to use it in hot module. Um, inside this hot folder, I want to create one routing module. For that, let's open the terminal window. Here, let's write this command ng g and then m i want to create this module inside this auth folder then module name auth routing module then i do not want to create parent folder so use this flat option um i want to provide the reference in the auth module so use this module option here auth then press enter See here, we have one more file auth routing module inside this auth folder. Let's open this. Uh, this is a very simple module. Let's open this auth module. Uh, in the imports array, we have auth routing module. Okay. We are going to define all the child routes that are associated with auth modules. Uh, in app routing modules, you can see here inside this ng module decorators we are using router module so copy this imports and exports array and go back to auth routing module here replace this code with copied um, code now add the import statement this router module is available in anglo at the router let's remove this import line okay now we have to define the routes here so let's copy this code from app routing module paste it here here let's remove this routes from here Okay, now we have the routes that is only associated with auth module. Uh, let's add the necessary imports here. So login component and then sign up component. Okay, save the changes. In app routing module here, let's remove these routes which is related to hot module and here also remove these lines and save the changes here um, in this router module we are using for root method now let's see the definition of this for root method this is an static method we have to define all the routes in this for root method Using this for root method, we are telling the Angular application that we want to use routing in this application and it will create one single instance throughout the application. 
this is the main purpose of this for root method um, in, in this auth routing module also we are using this for root method it means we are telling the angular application to create separate routing instances um, in this application but here it will not work it will create the problem because uh, these are child routes so we have to use for child here like this remember there will be one single for root method in the application we can use multiple for child methods in the application let's see the definition of this for child method this is also static method um, using this for child method we are telling the application there are some child routes when you configure the routing consider those child routes also now let's open the app module file see you uh, in the import sorry we are using art module now let's run this application using this command ng servo See here we are in home page we have header and footer here now navigate to about us it works fine now navigate to how it works this is also working now let's use child routes path and then login so this is working now let's use sign up this is also working fine okay we have divided routing file in multiple files now let's do the same thing in other modules also while creating the module in the application you can also create routing file automatically uh, for example let's remove this user module so right click and choose delete now here let's create on user module again ng g and then module name m module name user and then use this option routing it will create the routing module file as well then i have to provide the parent module so use this option module app press enter i want to create this module at root level see here inside this app folder we have user folder inside this user folder we have two files user module and user routing module open this user routing module see here we have the entire code automatically um, in this app module file in inputs we have user module but uh, let's open user module file see here we have user routing module file okay whenever you have to create new module use this command ng g and then m for module the name of the module then routing and then provide the parent module then all the setup will be done automatically okay now let's create a few components uh, in this user module ng and then gc for component i want to create component uh, inside this user folder inside this user folder i want to have components folder then component name will be add book components add book then press enter it will create the new component add book uh, inside this user folder 
expand this uh, component folder see here inside this we have hard book inside this we have uh, four new files let's create one more component delete book press enter see we have this new component here now we have to define the route in user routing module okay here we can define the all the routes in this array let's open this auth routing module here we are using auth component this is available in root level and we have defined the router outlet in this auth.component.html file like this we have to create uh, one more component uh, for the users so here write this command ng g and then c i want to create this inside this user folder and then component name user i do not want to create parent folder so use this flat option then press enter see you um, inside this user folder we have four new files uh, open this user component dot html file here let's remove this code and then use router outlet and save the changes let's open this um, user routing module file here we have to provide the routes so let's copy this from here and paste it in the user routing module here path will be user this is the prefix for the route and then we have to use component user component here in the login add book if the path is add book we have to call add book component if the path is delete book we have to call delete book component like this and save the changes let's see in the browser router outlet is not a known element okay in let's open this user module here let's add exports not in the inputs um, sorry we have to add this router module in imports array save the changes let's see in the browser default page is working fine okay now let's use the new path user and then add book we are getting message from add book component and then delete book uh, this page also works fine this is how we can create child routes with uh, multiple modules in angular application if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this